Hey guys. So I had this, um, I was having this thought about forgiveness. So I wanted to make this video. And it was um, basically how we as human beings, um, you know, if somebody fucks up time and time and time again in a relationship with you, eventually you, you're gonna have to cut it. You can be like, all right, sorry, like, I gotta save myself here because now you're, it, you're pulling me down. Um, but, but that's not how God works, right? I say God because for lack of better words, but like, let's just, when I say God, I mean the sustaining force of the, the whole universe, the force that brought all of this into, that sustains this whole reality that we're in. And, um, and it's the force that Luke Scott, I'm just kidding, that Jesus spoke about um, and taught about and when he said, my father in heaven, all that kind of stuff, that's what he's talking about. So um, that force doesn't, isn't confined to time. So when we say we fuck up a lot, right? When you mess up, you mess up, you mess up. And then it's like, I mean, how many times is God going to have to forgive me, right? Um, time, there is no time. Like he understands the, and I say he because I'm just, it's just force of habit, but understands, the personality of God understands the concept of time. However, it doesn't apply to him or it. So, so God can forgive consecutively or repetitively, or whatever the, the right word is, um, without even a second thought. And when Jesus was speaking about there is no condemnation for those who are, or was it Jesus? I can't remember. Wow, way to go, Darren. You really know your stuff. Um, maybe it was one of the apostles that said, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Um, maybe that's what they meant, is that if you trust that what Jesus was saying and who he is, uh, based on historical evidence and testimony, then that information is, is transformative. And if you're transformed by that information, modern day Christian term, uh, or maybe this isn't modern day, but whatever, uh, born again. You're no longer, you're no longer living on the, on a, on an old paradigm of like, what the fuck is actually going on? Like you actually have some kind of direction. If that's the case and, and you believe that, then there's no condemnation for you because that truth is what, is what supports the evidence that source energy, the almighty, um, doesn't hold grudges. Uh, was I zoomed in my nostrils this whole time? I hope not. Okay, no, I wasn't. So uh, I had to cut away and check because that would have been fucked up. So anyway, the um, the idea that I had was like, because I used to struggle a lot with like, how can God forgive? Like, how can God forgive so many times? Like, I can't even wrap my head around that. And I used to, so I would condemn myself. It's like, there's no way. There's no, like, I can't even wrap my head around it, so it must not be true. But now that I think about it, I'm like, well, if he doesn't operate, if time doesn't apply to to God, and his being is outside of even consciousness, that's a whole nother idea, then, then why couldn't he? If he could do anything, then why couldn't he forgive every single time? And I think about like my dog, for instance, when I'm training my dog, uh, the other day I was training her how to give me her paw, like high five. And, and I was, I knew it was going to be a challenge because she had never done it before. And I tried to do it with her before. 
and it just she wasn't really getting it so it was pretty difficult and uh this time i was determined i was like no this is it's gonna work this time so uh so we did it right and it took about 30 minutes maybe and i just kept uh i just kept paw paw i had a treat in my hand i said paw 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 put my hand out and she was like sniff and lick my hand and didn't know what the fuck i was talking about the very moment she, I mean, I probably said Paul 7,000 times. The very moment that she went like this with her Paul, just like, I don't know what to do. Like, and, and I had to make sure that she wasn't getting overwhelmed because sometimes in training she'll get overwhelmed. Uh, and I have to take a break because it's, there's no learning anymore. It's just frustration. Um, and I mean, that applies with us as well. But the moment her paw went up and did like a, oh dang, this, <laughs> I watch, sorry. I watch people come out of the gym and they've like probably just done leg day or something and they struggle up these little stairs. Sometimes it's dangerous because people push themselves too hard and I see them like faint or like start throwing up out here. This lady's like wobbling, but she's good, okay. So the moment her paw lifted, I caught it, I, I saw it go up and I was like, good girl, like that. And then she's like, instead of, and, and I could see the frustration relieve and the excitement start, her tail started wagging, uh, her breathing changed. And then she's like, oh, I'm, uh, you could tell she was like, oh, I'm onto something. And I was like, okay, all right, let's try this again. Paul, and give her some time to process. Paul, give her some, she did it again. Yes, good girl, good job, yeah. And I would take her hand and show her how to, and then shit, like a few seconds later, I, again, boom, full hand, full paw in my hand. Good girl, fucking rewarded the shit out of me. Yeah, good, I gave her all these treats, I praised her, I did all this stuff, brought her to the kitchen, I was like, here's some carrots, or here's some treats, and they're like, good girl, good. The moment we went back, she got it. The moment we, we went back to, let's try this again. Paw, 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 bam. Now, bam, every single time. Now she knows what it is. If I were to get, she doesn't have a concept of, of time. She doesn't have a concept. She doesn't know what the fuck is going on. She doesn't even know <laughs> why that even excites me. The fact that she's, okay, cool. I put my paw here, like, whatever, dude. Just give me a fucking treat. In my head, it's like, it's a bigger sign of like learning, of being able to connect and teach this living being something new. And in the same way is the patience of, of God and the personality of God is love. Like you hear this quote that's God is love, right? Um, so, well, if love is patient, then consider that. I spent like 30, 45 minutes trying to teach my dog to give me her paw, I knew it was gonna take time. God knows this about us. Source, the source energy that sustains all of existence in this current reality in which we live, this physical realm, uh, understands this. The personality of God is love, is patient, is kind. So when we fuck up and we fuck up and we fuck up, we, we don't need to condemn ourselves. We trust that there is no condemnation. You just get up. You just keep trying. You just keep trying. And I wanted to talk about this because I know that I'm not the only one who goes through it. Whether you're a, you know, you believe in Jesus or not, it doesn't matter. Like all human beings deal with guilt and shame. And what I find so comforting in the knowledge, the very limited knowledge of God that I have is is knowing that God doesn't think like a human being. It's beyond our understanding, beyond our reasoning and logic. Um, but there are these things that, these characteristics that we can understand. And I was, I was drinking having some kombucha 
Anyway, I was just standing at the fridge and it hit me. It was like, wow. I can always come back. Like, this is what it means to, to, sorry, with the sirens and all that shit. This is what it means to live shame free. There is no shame. Because when you believe otherwise and you, you, you accumulate this shame, every time you fuck up, whether you're an, you're an addict or you have bad habits or whatever and you're trying to change and you beat yourself up, don't, that doesn't do any good for anybody. And especially if you believe in a higher power such as God, it's so easy to condemn yourself, especially with the way that the modern Western culture of, of Christianity or church or whatever the fuck you want to call it presents itself. It's like you have to be like perfect. And if you're not, then you then you repent and then you you cry and you do us. And it's just like it's exhausting. None of that shit works. Trust me, I've tried it for many, many years. And I was heavily involved in all of that kind of stuff. And it just didn't line up. It doesn't make sense. Um, and it's very, it's very burdensome. And God isn't a burden. So, um, so anyway, I hope you guys got something from this. And uh, this is totally random vlog style, monologue, shoot from the hip, off the top of the dome, straight from the home, get a comb, then I run, I'm, see guys, look, I don't wanna show off my rap skills, but, uh, <laughs> God have mercy. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching this. And like I said, I hope you got something from it. Uh, let me know what you think, leave a comment, like, do all that stuff because uh, if I'm trying to do this YouTube thing, it always helps the algorithm. The least you can do is like like the video or leave a comment like woohoo or some shit. Um, and subscribe. It costs nothing. And it helps me out because, you know, this is something that I want to do and that I'm doing. And uh, if you find it beneficial, welcome, welcome to the journey, baby. <laughs>